Okay, so we're here uh, in VMware um, in Windows 10. So we got our Windows 10 virtual machine. And uh, so the thing here is, is that um, in order to do some some of the kind of more in, more interesting stuff, like to make the the, uh, the computer go the virtual computer go full screen, so you can operate it more comfortably, that type of thing. Uh, you can transfer files more efficiently. There's a bunch of stuff that that kind of is useful. Um, and to do that, you need to go ahead and install these um, uh, VMware tools. So essentially what this is, is it's VMware software being installed into the virtual computer, okay? Now you can download, it's just an ISO, okay? So it downloads and it essentially gets installed into your virtual uh, CD drive. Uh, you can download it itself, you can attach it to the virtual machine as well, uh, but it's a little bit easier just to go into the player and then um, manage and install VMware tools. Now, now I'm on Windows here, so VMware looks a little bit different on, on Ubuntu or on another Linux um, Linux um, distribution, uh, but the, the concept is the same, okay? So it's installing these VMware tools. A lot of times you do have to go in and actually run it. Um, so it will essentially download, it will attach to the CD drive, but then you know, it essentially won't run automatically. And you know, sometimes you do have to go in and actually just run a little piece of code just to start the executable. But let's see how it goes. All right, so let's we're going to go to uh, so we're inside VMware, inside our Windows 10 uh, virtual machine or appliance as they call it, virtual appliance. And we're going to go to manage under player and click install tools. So we're going to click download and install. Let's just see how long this takes. I like the details. I love that there's a button for details. I gotta be honest with you. I don't know that there's a necessity for this button. Like you could show me the details, you could not show me the details. But I don't know why why hide the details, you know what I mean? Okay, we're at 3%, which means we are going to pause the video uh, and pick it up in just a couple of minutes. Okay, so essentially it's uh, finished downloading. It's now on our D drive. Okay, uh, and we're going to go ahead and click close. Okay, now it didn't automatically run. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click full screen here. It didn't automatically run, uh, which means that we have to find it in the Explorer. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and double click the folder down here. And we're going to go to this PC. And notice that we have a DVD, D, VMware tools. We're going to double click that. Okay, we want to click yes to the, the um, installation. Okay, so the installation comes up, and we just want to click next. Um, I like to click on um, uh, just I think typical is fine since we're in VMware. Where anywhere ways uh, in general, it's better I think to go to complete or um, sorry custom just to make sure you're not getting anything you don't want when you're installing things. But in this case, I think you know it's fine. So. All right, so it's going to go ahead and install here. And this VMware tools, you get a lot of great stuff with it, so it's really, uh, it's really quite, quite useful to, uh, to use. Um, okay, so it's removing the backup files, and there we have it. Can be done any second, any time now. It's getting there. <laughs> okay, almost. Oh, there. Oh, oh. Almost. Almost there. Oh, it's going to eleven. Oh, there it went to eleven. All right. Okay, and we finish. Okay, so now. It's done. We have to restart our system. Um, 
And so we must restart our system for new information tools to take effect. So we want to go ahead and click yes to restart the system. Okay, notice it's restarting. There it goes, restarted. One thing I do like on Windows 10 versus Windows 8 and even 7 is the boot times. They definitely got the boot times right. Um, I gotta be honest, I run Ubuntu a lot and that's one thing switching over to Windows, to any Windows operating system was really um, quite, um, could be long sometimes so okay so we're gonna go ahead um, and log in all right Hit enter and now we have the VMware tools installed uh, in the operating system okay and uh, and so essentially what we can do now is we can go ahead and do some uh, more interesting stuff like do uh, like full screen Click the Unity, whatever that is. Exit Unity. Okay. <laughs> All right, so there we have Windows 10 uh, VMware uh, tools installed. Uh, good luck.